This is the spark. Now, before Amanda explains how it works, I want to take a moment to emphasize how cool this trailer is. These University of Wisconsin SSEC scientists needed a way to get atmospheric data from faraway places. Problem is, their machines are super heavy and expensive. The solution? Put them on wheels and build an awesome trailer that has everything you need and can take you anywhere. Right, Amanda? Of course, the Spark is literally a research laboratory on wheels. It was designed to make data collection easier in hard to reach areas and places with weather worth researching. When we look up at the sky, we see the blue sky and maybe some clouds. And what's special about the Spark is that it can use an airy to see invisible molecules by using what's known as infrared energy. This is the Airy, and it can take a clear sky like this and make a map showing the temperature and humidity at various levels and making a map for the sky. For example, if we look at the sky with our eyes, we might see this. But with the Airy, it sees this. It sort of reminds me of that one movie. The spark can also calculate wind speed and direction using a Doppler LiDAR by sending a light particle into the air and measuring the time it takes for it to come back. And then there's the HSRL, which also sends a laser into the sky, but it's big and green. Using that laser beam, we are then able to see what the sky looks like if we cut it in half from space. This is how we take cross sections of clouds and pollution. When we put it all together, this is what it looks like. The white lines tell you the wind speed and direction while the background shows temperature and molecules. Based on this and hundreds of thousands of data just like this, we can do more than just understand rain. We can understand all of this. This is one entire system and even the sunny days affect rainy ones. And while a sunny day might not be too interesting, these scientists like to drive out into an open field where they go storm chasing.